Hey y'all, it's Yaya here with Nowhere Home Study. We're still working on the sheep pen. We got our sheep yesterday and the pen's not quite ready. So we're trying to get that finished up. But I wanted to just do a quick shout out and remind everybody, no matter what your physical condition, always remember to take a break. I'm sitting here on my husband's three point stool because I forgot to bring a chair and my back is out. So I'm doing T-post clips, trying to finish up the north side of the fence and I'm taking a break. We'll check back with you and let you know our progress of the day. See ya. So I'm taking another break. I wanted to show y'all just in the last hour or whatever, I've gotten all the way down to that corner done where I'm sitting. Let's be real for a minute. There's a lot of things that I can't do because of my physical limitations. I have arthritis in both of my knees. One of them is almost bone on bone. I have a bulging disc in my back that prevents me from lifting and carrying anything heavy and bending over for uh, multiple times and long periods of time. So it's really difficult. Um, and I have a lot of other physical ailments. I also suffer from migraine headaches, especially out in the heat. I mean, there's a lot of things that I can do. There's a whole lot more that I can't do because of my physical issues. Um, but that doesn't stop me from working with my strengths. And so I'm out here doing T-post clips because that's something that I can do. Yes, the bending down is really hard. And so I do, you know, four or five posts and then I sit down for a couple of minutes and let my back rest for a minute and then I get back to it. And I don't push myself until I'm just so bad that I can't move because then I'm done and then I can't do anything else. I push myself until I start hurting just a little bit, sit down for a minute, and then get back to it. And then I can get, I'm going to be able to get this whole line done here in just a short little bit. Um, so for people like me who have issues, pace yourself and work to your strengths. Um, Bullet and I have always played to each other's strengths. And where I'm weak, he's strong. Where he's weak, I'm strong. And those are the best partners to have. So the other day working in the heat, I ended up having to stop. I got so hot that I had really bad heat exhaustion. Ended up almost being sick. Um, I ran errands, got sheep food and feeders, water bucket, uh, the things that we needed. So I was able to at least be useful in that capacity. But I wasn't able to be out here working and helping in the way that I wanted to. Um, we did eventually get the uh, fence finished enough. Um, for now, we still have more that we need to do. Uh, but the sheep are in their enclosure. And we will uh, upload the finishing video for that a little bit later. But I just wanted to be real and transparent about working in the heat when you're not used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm not physically able to do it. Um, I can't. I just can't do it. And my husband knows that. He's prepared for it. He knows that I can't be out there. He's happy when I can help and do at least a little bit. If I can work for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, that's a little bit that he doesn't have to do. And he's usually grateful for that. He's understanding for that. And that's the kind of relationship that we have. We understand each other's strengths and weaknesses. Um, that's the, the, great, the greatness of our partnership is understanding. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. If he wasn't understanding of that, that's not love. <laughs>